What is your background with Mr. Driscoll? Oh man, uh, that's Coach Driscoll for me. Um, he was actually my PE and health teacher when I was a student here. So my freshman year was the very first year that I got to meet Coach Driscoll. Uh, he was also a baseball coach then. Um, just an amazing man and a great mentor to who really just, you know, invested in kids. So known him for a long time. How long have you known him? Man, so let's see, if I would have been, what, 13, 14 then, then that's probably about 27 years, you know? So roughly about 25 or so years, it's been a long time. Um, and even when I graduated, uh, and especially when I got into teaching and I was at PRP and Wagner and stuff, he would sometimes send me emails, just as notes, just to say, hey, check it on you, seeing how you're doing and stuff like that. So. Again, just for all these years, has been an amazing man that always looks to invest in people. And what are your feelings on him retiring? Oh, I'm so sad. I don't want to. I don't want him to go. Uh, but I also understand that everything runs its course. And as I've said to you all, as students and families, like we're built on tradition to leave our own legacy. And I can't think of a greater legacy that's been laid than Mr. Driscoll, like what he's done for our, for our entire tradition, our entire culture and family has been amazing. So I hate to see him go, but he deserves it. Like he is, he has poured in so much to Mel High School and to the H and I'm just, I'm so proud of him. John Kelsey, Athletic Director. What is your background with Mr. Driscoll? So I've known Coach Driscoll since I came here in uh, 2009. He was the head baseball coach. Uh, he had already been here a number of years. His uh, dad had been here prior to him uh, and had uh, primarily responsible along with several individuals, Bill Edwards and a few others, in building the baseball stadium here at Mayo. Uh, and Todd had been a longtime coach. And when I got here in 2009, uh, he was the head baseball coach as well as a teacher here at Mayo. How long have you known him? So I've known him the whole time I've been here. Uh, I knew who he was before I arrived, so he was an outstanding baseball coach, uh, well known in the uh, you know Louisville area. Mayo was always a uh, top tier team. Um, uh, I would say most baseball people in Louisville knew who Coach Driscoll was. Uh, not only him, but his family. Uh, I knew who Todd was, but I had not had the opportunity to work to, uh, with him until I came here uh, in the fall of '09. In the spring of 2010 was the first baseball season. Uh, I was here, and we actually went to the state tournament in my first year with Coach Driscoll. Uh, an incredible memory, and uh, you know, I was the luckiest guy on uh, earth to start and then go to the state tournament my first year. And what are your feelings on him retiring? Well, I, uh, first and foremost, happy for him. It's a loss for Mayo, uh, but obviously very excited for him. Uh, not only teaching, but coaching, uh, especially the coaching part, is a tough profession. So I'm excited for him uh, if that's what he's prepared to do. Uh, you know, I'd like to keep him around a few more years. But uh, very excited for Todd and his family uh, for him to enjoy a well-deserved uh, retirement. I teach health. How long have you been a teacher? Huh. Let's see, uh, 34 years, um, 32 of those years have been at Mel High School and two of those years were at South Oldham. Yeah. What do you coach? Uh, I coach baseball, I still coach baseball, but I coach baseball here for 22 years and I'm still coaching baseball. I happen to coach at North Oldham now with my son, so it's a little bit different. Uh, complexity than what it was at Mayo High School, but certainly loved my time here at Mayo for those years and had some great kids, some great teams, great assistant coaches over the years and uh, we felt like we made a, a, a nice run uh, while we were here and uh, yeah, so yeah, very much love coaching at Mayo High School. Are you excited about retiring? Um, I'd say it's bittersweet, you know, I am because um, you know, I get to move on to that next uh, season of my life, so to speak. And, you know, there's other things that I will enjoy doing. I like uh, working with my hands. I like doing gardening. Um, I might have said this in the, uh, the yearbook, but I used to have a garden here at Mail overlooking the baseball field. So, and I still garden. I don't have a garden here at Mail anymore, but I have a nice garden, you know, that I still tend to. Uh, I like doing woodwork. Uh, I'm not going to, like, 
be all that uh, old from the standpoint I'm going to sit in a rocking chair and on the front porch and just let life go by. There'll be other things that I do. I don't know exactly what that entails, what that looks like yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my life, but at the same time, I'm going to miss the kids. Uh, I'll miss, you know, the camaraderie with faculty and staff and things like that too. Some highs and lows, uh, can't really think of many lows, but other highs, uh, I would be uh, totally remiss if I didn't mention, you know, being able to coach with my dad here at Mail High School, um, you know, played under my dad here at Mail High School. I was able to coach with my dad and also coach Watts. Uh, also being able to teach with my dad who also was a Mail High School student and um, just some things of that nature. And just, you know, all the many uh, former students that uh, I had that went on to become educators, some of which are here at Mail High School, former players that have gone into education and other fields of education. You know, just a lot of wonderful uh, memories as far as that's concerned. And again, no real lows. I don't have any lows, any regrets or anything like that. Just wish there was more time to continue to teach and be here at Mail High School, but unfortunately all good things come to an end. Thank you.